We're back with more STL TV Live. Founded in 1866, the Missouri History Museum is the go-to destination for all your statewide history and background. And today, I have a guest joining with me, Sharon Smith. She is a curator at the Missouri History Museum, and she's going to tell us about an awesome exhibition that's coming up. I really like this. It's about prohibition. Exactly. This is like a great, great period in American history. So tell me a bit more about it. Well, the exhibit uh, is called American Spirits, The Rise and Fall of Prohibition, and it's coming to us from the National Constitution Center. So it's a, a traveling exhibition. We're excited to have it here because St. Louis is one of those places where we can talk a lot about <laughs> beer and brewing and prohibition because we have Anheuser-Busch here. Mm -hmm. and, and what's really interesting is that the national show has um, about 120 artifacts and yet about 15 to 20 percent of them will be um, parts of the Anheuser-Busch story. That's so that's really, that's really exciting. So when, tell me about some of the pieces that are going to be in the exhibit. I mean, I, I would think that there's probably some beer cases or something, but tell me a bit more about what people will actually see. Yeah, I think one of the, you know, the exhibit is just now being installed at the History Museum, so I'm beginning to see some of the artifacts up close, and, mm -hmm. it's, and it's really exciting. One of the things that they tell me, we haven't yet installed, but it's really going to be exciting, is Carrie Nation was one of those temperance women who went around and smashed all of the saloons as she was on this crusade to battle uh, the saloon problem and, and push for prohibition. And we are going to see one of those hatchets on display, one of her actual hatchets. I mean, that's really exciting from a standpoint of a curator to actually see the hatchet and a piece of a mirror that she kind of cracked in one of the saloons. So that is really exciting. We, um, we're going to see a lot of things having to do with gangsters mm -hmm. and, and some, some mob stories. <laughs> there's, some, um, there's a still, a huge still that was confiscated. Uh, somewhere in North Carolina. So, you know, it's just, it's the real stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's what's really exciting about this. And it this. sounds like there's, it, what you're saying is really to both sides of it, those who were really for making alcohol illegal and then those who benefited from, <laughs> benefited from it and those who still had access to it. So exactly. it sounds like it's both both sides. It even gets into the mob territory. Talk about something you're obviously probably familiar with here in St. Louis, and you mentioned Anheuser-Busch. I mean, there's a history of caves here being, you know, the store, the storage areas for beer. I mean, what St. Louis, what was sort of St. Louis's role, or if you kind of describe St. Louis during the Prohibition era, how would you describe it? Well, what's interesting is, up to Prohibition, we had a large number of breweries in the city. And as we get closer and closer to the 1920s, those breweries start to fall away. What's fascinating is that Anheuser-Busch, of course, comes through the Prohibition era almost unscathed mm -hmm. in the sense that they found ways to survive. And that's the story that we also get to tell in this exhibit because we get to do a local component that we get okay. to add to it. So we went back to Anheuser-Busch yet again, added some more artifacts in our local story where we can look very closely at all of those products that they were um, promoting during those 13 years of dry period, as, <laughs> as they were called. And, and we get to see those. We get to see some of the products. We get to, we get to hear you know, the stories of how Anheuser-Busch survived. The other really cool artifact that we get to um, bring in is a, a Bevo boat car. It's an amphibious car that we wheeled into the museum a couple weeks ago. Really? And it's on loan to us from a, a local lender. And these cars were marketed, you know, they were marketing tools for Anheuser-Busch during that period of prohibition. So again, St. Louis was just constantly pushing to get those those names out there, you know, those product names and so forth, so they could survive. When you look back on it, obviously now here we are in the 21st century, but when you look back on the Prohibition era, what would you say kind of, and this is really, and you have 30 seconds to respond now, okay. but what would you say really its significance in American history? I think what it showed us was that you can't legislate what people drink. I think that's, you know, that's the bottom line, I think, from this exhibit as well, is that, you know, people really, it, it was good for the country to find that out, and I think that, that we learned that there are some things that we can legislate and right. some things we can't. Okay, all right, well, it sounds really interesting, and it's opening soon. It's American Spirits, The Rise and Fall of Prohibition, coming to the Missouri History Museum April 26th through August 17th. Um, for more information, go to the Missouri History's museum's website at mohistory.org. And thank you so much for, uh, for being here. But we've got actually more with the Missouri History Museum. We'll hear more about an upcoming uh, project that they're doing. So please stay with us when we return.